Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we're going to talk about geometry. Now there's going to be a whole series of videos on geometry, but starting out, we need to become familiar with the terminology used in geometry. That's usually the biggest obstacle, because there's so many different terms that we haven't heard before in algebra or in arithmetic or other forms of math, that it becomes very puzzling of what they're trying to tell us in geometry. So the best thing to do is to start with showing you some videos on all the various terms used in geometry so when we communicate geometry we can understand one another so starting out we're going to talk about points and lines so here we have drawn a line and notice we have two points on the line a and b and the line is named m we can use any variable to name the points or the line it doesn't have to be m it could be any variable any, any letter in the alphabet but so when we talk about lines we could say we have line m or we have the line defined by the points that are on the line, in this case, A and B. Notice the arrow going in both directions over the A and B, which means the line goes on infinitely in both directions. It's infinite in length, and so we know that the points, and I should put an S there, points A and B lie on the line, that's how we say it, or we could also say points A and B lie in the line. Now, on the line is probably more, prob more, uh, more commonly used, but it's also correct to say that points A and B lie in the line. You can also say that the point A lies on M, or simply say A lies on M. A is a point, M is a line, or A lies in M. So we have now two lines over here. We have line M and line N, and there's a point where they cross. We call that point P. Another way of saying cross means intersect. The two lines intersect at this location, so we can say that M and N intersect at point P or at P. Here we have the symbol intersect. So this is the intersection of M and N, and that's defined by the point P. So we say M intersect N equals P. Or we can also say that P, which is a point, is the intersection of the lines M and N. And again, sometimes they don't include the word line, so they simply say P is the intersection of M and N. So those are the basic terms of points and lines that we use in geometry, and the basic symbolism to indicate that we're de dealing with a line. Later on, we'll talk about rays and line segments, and we'll see how that's different from the way we express lines. But here you know the basic principles of points and lines, this is how we express them, and so that will gift you going on the understanding of how to talk the language of geometry. So, if you're interested in this, stay tuned. We have many more videos to give you the basic terminology of all the words that we use in geometry. And that's how we do that.